Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest Swords. In the last episode, uh... Well, I'll just show you. In the last episode, we did stuff. But yeah, what I did was I bought the lightning blade and the fire sword. I think that's what it's called. Whatever. The fire blade off-screen. I made those. I also, uh, got that stuff. This is my equipment. So yeah, let's head off to Sea Cast Sea Code with my pops. We're gonna head there. We're gonna beat the ever-loving crap out of things. Cause that's what we do. We're gonna get that monster. So let me show you something if you ever went back to a level. And here's the little screen you'll see, and then eventually I'll pop up over here if you want to do it by yourself. But you get to pick who you want to go with you. Anyways, let's head into Sea Cast Sea Cove now. And, um, start doing stuff, I guess. This is the cove where they say they saw the beast. It all smells a bit fishy to me. Oh, yeah. Fish and it looking. reeks of monsters, too. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain, Dad. It's gonna be a pain. Let's get in there, lad. Yeah. Let's do this. Me and my pop. I'm gonna be getting in there. So yeah, we're sailing in here on a boat. Yeah, I could do that. I'm on a boat thing, but I'm not gonna bother. Uh, yeah. So I wonder. Oh, here we go. Some new enemies. Also, I'm using the lightning sword in this cave due to the fact that there are a couple enemies weak to lightning. But yeah, we got new drakeys in here. Magi drakeys, I believe. Because they can use uh, heal. And heal themselves. Oh, come on. As you can see, he's going to heal himself. I think they got like 40 HP. There we go. Dad, I don't want to die, so let's not go to the death. I think we're going to survive here. But yeah, I wonder if my dad's rowing the boat, or am I rowing the boat? He must be rowing the boat because I'm fighting. I guess. I'm not sure how that's working. So here's some new enemies. Man of War. And those are the guys that are weak to lightning. And then you slice them up. And they just come up from everywhere. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Dad. Beating the snot out of monsters. So, yeah, we got this long, like, canal, tunnel, watery thing we're going through. I know it's not a fjord. That's the only thing I know. Because fjords are, are like, it's like a river... A body of water with two, like, ice cliff things or something like that. So, yeah, let's keep going on this boat ride. Boat ride in love. Oh, ooh, look at, look at this, man. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Like, just the water and how big this cave is inside. Jeez. And more enemies, Merzons. Merzons and Man of Wars. Yeah, I don't know if I explained, but if you block perfectly, you'll also get a point. You also get your uh, your sword meter charged up again. Oh, uh, darn it. Yeah, I am watching Pop. They suck. Oh yeah, let me show you, uh, yeah, here's the spells my dad's got. But well, here's his stats. As I leveled them up. Zap, oomph. Oomph doubles your attack power. It's by kill. And then the other one, buff, will obviously increase your defense. So let's, uh, I can see the end of this little watery area. More Merzons and Merz magic Merzon guys. Take that, Merzon. 
I am, Dad. Look, they're trying to throw fire on our ship. They're jerks, Dad. I will. See that, Dad? I aimed. I'm badass. I don't want to die. Look at that. Level up. Yeah, Zap is awesome. As you can see, most... All kinds... It does cost 7 MP to, to cast, but... As soon as you get, like... Over 70 MP, it's really worth it to cast it a whole bunch. And now my lightsaber is, uh... Making a noise, meaning my, I can use a master stroke. As we're almost to the... Where I can walk. Now this place can be, it's not confusing, but it does have various branching pathways. So we'll have to watch out for that. But look at this. First thing we do when we get on land is we get a thunderball. And we keep going here. Mm, I don't want to use my master stroke yet. These guys are too easy blocking that. Block, attack. Block, attack. You're going down, Babbles. Now on, strike! Uh, Dad, you're kind of drunk, aren't you? We just beat the guys. And here's some older enemies, Blaze guys. These guys usually, with the Ice Sword, obviously, much easier to kill. They're still pretty easy to kill, anyway. One attack, one hit point, or one attack will do it. Yeah, here we go. Here's the first branching pathway. Let's go right first, since there's a giant boulder. It can only be this. Good thing I got that boulder dash thing. I wish I got it in the first case, so that I wouldn't have to backtrack even more, but whatever. Let's get this. And continue. Running through this cave. Alright. There are two chests here. Um, but later on, it'll get a little difficult. The chests will get a little harder. I think. So we got a lucky bag and an ice crystal. Back to the junction point. Anyways, we're gonna go straight here. Get a mini mill, excellent. And here are these demonites, new enemies. Pretty easy to defeat. Yeah, but they just like flying in and off of your screen. They cast ice and then they run away. They're little jerks with their giant forks. They got giant forks they use. Because it's supper time. Alright, you know what? Let me show you off this. This is the fire one. Searing slash. And basically, for you fellas out there, this is kind of easy. Shake your sword violently. It should be easy, but it's... Ah, uh, you gotta love Wii games and their old, uh, wackety, wackety, schmackety do games. They're shake, baby, shake. Alright, now here is, you have to pick the right chest. Otherwise, it's a mimic, oh no. Anyways, if you pick the left chest, you get a, uh, you get a, a world tree. Oh, come on. You gotta block that whole time, otherwise it'll knock you back. This guy can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, sadly, you can, and over here now, if you can thrust at him, when he, like, closes this thing, it'll open back up, and then you keep hitting him. I was able to do it earlier, but I can't do it now. Because what happened was I had to re-record this part. And now 
he's dead. So let's uh, let's continue moving forward and fight a bunch of battles. Yeah. See, my dad just gives us like tips. Let's use Zap. What the hell? I forget what Analyst says, and then before it's like, oh, you're my hero, and all that. So, okay, let's check this rock. And now we're basically done for this episode. We'll, we'll hopefully go through more in the next episode. See you later. Bye-bye.